Hello and welcome to Fine Arts Channel. Today we're going to be drawing this booted racket tail hummingbird. We're going to be using colored pencil and pencil for the outline. I hope you enjoy. So you're going to start with half of a sheet of 14 by 11 inch drawing paper. Start sketching the hummingbird. Don't outline every single feather. It won't be, it's not necessary when you're coloring in and when you do color in, they will form naturally with the colored pencil. I'm gonna outline, however, the major areas of the feathers, such as the wing feathers and the tail feathers. Let's get started. I have finished sketching. These tail feathers ended up just a bit smaller than what I was hoping for, so we'll be fixing that. I filled in the eye because when it's not filled in, it looks rather creepy. From my wonderful 50 pack of colored pencils, I've selected a range of blues, greens, and violets, along with a few browns to help with the darker areas. Um, with the feathers, Make sure you use darker colors to try and make each feather look like its own little thing. And also make sure to blend to a certain degree. These feathers have a gradient, especially on the tails, where there's lighter towards this area and darker as it nears the stem. Let's get started. I've finished coloring in the bird. If you would like any part of it to be more vibrant than it already is, simply use a lighter color. Sky blue for the tail, yellow or lime green for the body. This right here is a clump of small white feathers covering the feet. These feathers are very fine and they cast shadows over each other. To indicate these, fleck your pencil very lightly against the paper. To indicate depth, I've added lines on both the body and the tail feathers. Next I'm going to make a stick for this bird to be sitting on and then we'll come back and add some things to make it pop. Let's get going. The picture is nearly finished. We're going to add a few things to help bring it to life. Uh, one, uh, The first thing is, right here, you want to have a contrast because this area is in shadow. If you don't want to make this area really dark, try and making this little clump of white feathers lighter. Very lightly dab with your eraser to make it whiter. You don't want too many lines in the first place. If you erase too much, just add a few back in. The next thing is, I'm going to add just a little bit more feathers around this area. Help make it look more real. Right here, I'm going to smooth this out. Mm 
and kind of blend this area so that it doesn't look like a black stripe. Your eyes shouldn't be too large or else they'll look cartoonish. Also, you don't want this little um, light in the eye to um, be too big. That's also one of the other things that makes it look unnatural. I'm going to kind of minimize that just by coloring in a little bit. does a whole lot. And um, right here I'm going to darken some of the lines. And then one thing here, because these feathers must be so defined, just go around them with an eraser to help take out any loose lines here as well. And there it is, a booted racket-tailed hummingbird. For more videos like this, please subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.